Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to get to the top of the search page or within the first page or two for LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn, is, if you don't know what LinkedIn is, I assume you wouldn't be watching me anyway. But it's where you link to certain, like you can view or link certain professions and like such a CEO, content writer, freelance designer, stuff like that. Now to begin with, i point out that it's a very popular site. So say if you were looking for something, anything. Uh, can I sign in? I'll sign in on my other profile for now. Again, it's not a real profile, so as you can see, it's not even confirmed email. If you were to search for something, it doesn't matter what it is, if you were to search for a writer, you're looking for a writer, you can see millions of results. Even if you're looking for a writer in the UK, which is where I'm from, all this will work with all countries. I'm in the UK, there's 76,000 results for a writer. And if you are looking for a writer in the UK, chances are you're going to look on the first two, three, maybe five pages to look for a writer, you're not going to look for no more. So what I'm going to show you is a way to get on those first pages. If you can get right at the top of this first page, like my other profile, you'll go from one, two views a day, up to hundreds of views a day. I mean, even if you're just getting your name out there, people looking at your work. Now, before you start, I'll sign on this. You want to open up a notepad or write down or do whatever you want. Make a list of your keywords that you want to be noted for that's related to your profile, such as professional copywriter, marketing guru manager. These are just ones that my friend works for. Yep. Now, the key is, is to optimize these keywords because it can only search for so many words at a time. If you try and get 20, 30 keywords to be recognized for you, it's just not going to work. So you, what you want is keywords that are tailored to you that you know people are going to look for obviously these will be more popular and harder to get on the pages but my trick will indeed help that now avoid repeating yourself like here I've got professional copywriter which is fine so I'll go for comma space marketing guru manager but I've also got project leader manager so let's get rid of this manager, you don't need this manager. If someone does search for project leader manager, you will still come up because the word manager is still in your keywords. So don't worry about that. Comma, space, global content writer. Comma, space, project leader. Comma, space, purchase consultant writer. Now we don't need this writer, we'll just purchase consultant because again, writer's already in. We don't need to keep repeating words. It won't do us any favors. Now, these are a list of your clients. Anyone you've ever worked for. The more clients you can get, the better. If you can get 20 clients down here, it's going to help you no end. It's like your CV. Try and enhance different areas. You don't need to lie blatantly, but if you've worked for a friend, you've helped design a website, done anything, you know it down. It'll just help. If you've only got five or six clients that you've ever worked for in the last few years, that's fine. But you may not get top one or two people search for. You might, but it's always better to have lists. I mean, you could lie and just fake loads, but if I was you, just go for ones that you've done, friends or anything. When people look at your profile, they're going to look at your most recent, your three main jobs that you've done. They're not going to look down to what you did 10 years ago. They're going to look to what you're doing now because that's what they're interested in. So don't worry about it. Now, what you want to write... It's your company name. I this company name, obviously I've just made it up. Is that? Then you want space breaker, which is often shift, and the button directly left of the space bar. Each one is different, but on an average keyboard, space client space, and then your client name. Now you want to do this before every client name. the word client twice there we go as you can see it doesn't take very long and that's all you need to do once you've set that up you sort it save it do what you want with that 
write it down even. I'm going to sign in to my made up profile that I st started earlier. Actually, what I'll do is I'll sign in on the, the other profile because just to show you that if I'm going to start searching for these, such as purchase consultant. Hundred and sixty thousand people, man. And I search it for the UK. Again. I'm not gonna be there. It's a profile I've just created. You have a look, can you see a Durham Hogan that is I'm not gonna be there. I'm not even gonna be on the first ten pages. I'll be lucky if I'm not just right at the end. That was fraps then. That's what I'm using to record if anyone was wondering. Um professional copywriter. Again, not a chance I'm going to be on the front page. Chances are I'm not going to be anywhere. Um, global content writer. As you can see, nowhere to be seen. I'm from the UK, like I said, but it doesn't matter too much. As you can see, I'm nowhere. I'm not going to be anywhere. Because I've just created this profile. You'll see in a minute. I've literally just created a profile. The reason I didn't search on the profile is because if you do do a search, it's just going to call your name first no matter what. Again, you can look at this email all you want probably. It's just a fake email I set up. Obviously, I'm not Katie. I already started this profile slightly anyway. Here's the picture I used. It's from Poker PKR. It's just from Google, just a random picture. You want to go profile, edit profile, edit your name up here on your profile. I assume you've already got a profile. Now your professional headline, you want that to be your keywords, which you want to do anyway. It's got like to do with optimization. If people are looking, your professional headline should be because then they know what it is you do. See? Now they know what I do. so. It, that makes sense anyway. Now, what you want to do is then go to add a current position. You probably already have a current position, you see. So, say your current position is this. The company name is the client. Yeah? Now, when you've got the client, it's going to be a company name, and the title is going to be your keywords. As far as location goes and dates you work for them, that's completely up to you. Obviously, it's where you work. Now, see, I'm faking this. This is completely fake. Then if I could do it with this, an actual profile, you'll skyrocket up the pages. Then you want to go a new position being added. So you want to then go to add a position again. And you want to do this for every client you've got. Yeah, every single one company name that you worked for and you want this the title to be your keywords again the rest of it you can make up do whatever you want well don't, don't make up but obviously I have to make it up you on the other hand just write down what is what's true for what it is you work for even if you just want to be seen and you just got one client just Put that in as your main client and then work your way through anything you've ever done for everyone. University, anything. Right, I'm going to do this for all these clients and then I'll be right back. You don't want to watch me do this constantly, I wouldn't think. Just add position and add them all and I'll be right back. I'm back. All I've done is I've wrote them all. I think I wrote 10 in the end. There were 12, 13. I couldn't be bothered to write any more in. So we've done this now. So now when we search for a keyword, such as global content writer, you will see that... I'm t oh, of course I'm going to be top. I forgot. If you search in your own profile, quite often you'll be top so you can it's edit, basically. It doesn't actually show you where you're going to place. So... All I'll do is I'll sign out 
and now sign in is another profile that I'd created again it's not real so I wouldn't worry about seeing any details I'll blank some out just in case but I wouldn't worry about it I'll go back to searching what was a section global content writer in the UK for me specifically you to search because obviously you go to UK LinkedIn there I am I'm the top someone searches for global content writer as you can see send mail it's not the profile I'm on it's a full-on profile marketing guru manager I'm not too sure what that is to be honest let's look for these all locations even on the all locations you can see I'm here I'm top five from everybody in the world who's got marketing guru or manager in it see he's an insert marketer but I'm still here above him not just below it but top five in the world I mean obviously if I click United Kingdom nine times out of ten you're looking for someone you're looking for someone in your country and here I am. See? The only person above me is this Ivo guy. By the looks of it, he's got a premium account. You get a premium account, you get priority, you know? This guy's got a premium account, he's below me. See? I mean... What can I say? Obviously, it's one of those things... My profile is literally a few hours old. And I'm number two. I'm number five in the world, but I'm number two for the United Kingdom. And for the other one, I was number one for the United Kingdom. And what about this one? It'll be the same with the others. And it's, it's, if you've got a profile and say in your description, like you're talking, I'm number one, you're talking about, if I click my profile, and you've got your latest job. And you're talking about where it is. Instead of me, I just wrote a title and who I was working for. Obviously, underneath, you're going to have a description about what you did. Now, in that description, you're going to have terms such as writer, global content. And that's even going to increase the search even more. So, for my thing, it took me 10 minutes. And I'm now number one in the world for global content writers. I'm going to be, if you someone's looking for one of those people, I'm going to be just if someone's looking for a global content or writer, I'm going to pop right up to the, almost the top. It's not going to work for everything. But for you know, majority of keywords for a profile that's this old, if you've got a professional looking profile and all you do is edit the title and how the way you write, who you worked for, the company space and client, then you're going to shoot up because the keywords are going to read through all your descriptions as well and obviously when someone just clicks on your name if they're not a premium which most people aren't all you can see is this what he does where he's from and what his speciality is and most will just send you email because they won't be premium not everyone's premium so they won't even see all the other stuff you'd wrote even if you had to make some up they're not going to see it they're going to send you an email because they're going to see, I saw your profile. Can you send me, you know, any sort of details about what it is you do, your portfolio? They're going to email you these things because they're going to know if they're searching for a professional copywriter or a marketing guru or a project leader and your name is on the front page. These people are going to go, well, this guy is obviously well known. This guy is he's at the top, you know. So they're going to be sending you messages and you're going to see your views skyrocket. And I hope it helps. And if you need any help, I could do it for you. But I would need, you obviously I'd need your email and password. So make sure you change the password to something that you don't use for anything else. Because I don't want any responsibility. Just change it to my name, whatever you want. Just. But if you need any help, you need me to show you how to do it again if you need to just talk to me just let me know and i'll help all right and i hope this helps and as you can see this one hour old profile has just shot up and it's better than expected to be fair i, I thought it was going to be the first three pages because 
older your profile, the more complete your profile is, the better you'll be. I mean, my profile is on just not very good, <laughs> obviously. It's a brand new profile. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you gave you some ideas and I really hope it helps you. Don't complain if you're not number one in the search, but you will definitely go up from where you currently are. And chances are you'll be on the front page if you do it correct. More clients you've got, the better. And thank you for listening. I know it's gone on a while, but to do it to your profile should only take 10 minutes.